Let's talk a little bit about the future. Is there anything you see on the horizon or what are some of the things that you guys are working on today for, you know, the next, you know, call it six to 24 months? Okay. Well, right now we're developing our own in-house API. We mm. see inte integrations with other products as key. So okay. we're going to continue to build out our product and, you know, think of it as a center of excellence for the self-service software that we do in our niche. Yeah. But then we, we want to partner with other tools because as we know, every software tool out there is its own silo in most cases. Right. Unfortunately, and yes. When, yeah. And that makes life more complicated for the mm -hmm. center owners and operators having to right. learn all this different stuff. So integration with other key tools is definitely on our radar. Mm -hmm. And I, I see a more complex scheduling environment coming up as the centers are adding more things, more activities, right. you know, the different events, arcades, and, and we Cash have some throwing, that do volleyball yeah. as well, right. right? The whole thing. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely evolving into more of the entertainment center type destination. Right. So we've got to be ready to handle all that. And we have a lot of customers that do that now with multiple categories of mm -hmm. different activities. Yeah, I would imagine for the same, it, it's it's the same basic premise, right? Inventory and time slots for, for most of that. I would imagine it's pretty similar. It, well, exactly. It just might have within each one of those, you know, how many cat groups can we have? How many sides? Yeah, the, you know, they have right, the different rules. Yeah. 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 And then that makes sense. have people trained up. And the training is very simple. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like most apps today. It doesn't take, I mean, there's no books or manuals. It's simply, right. okay, click this button, see what happens. Perfect. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and a lot of uh, these places, uh, you know, at the front desk, it's kids anyway, and they take to the, the software very quickly to begin with. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's a, it's, it's a game changer. Again, if you mm -hmm. think of, well, there was an article in the LA Times here recently about restaurants giving up on phones entirely. Hmm. The ringing phone in a restaurant, what does that do to the staff and, and the yeah. guest experience? Right. right. The busy wait staff has to drop the guest, go answer the phone mm -hmm. with the same routine questions, you know, that they've heard a hundred times. So it interrupts that process. So now getting, this is just beginning. Right. When you think about, when you think about the ringing phone in a business today, yeah. it really can be a distraction. That's a great point. And there's better ways to handle that ringing phone. And that's to give people what they want, which mm -hmm. is some way to take care of themselves, you know, on their schedule when they're ready to do it. Right. Yeah. I've always thought that. Can you imagine if instead of a, a phone, it was a person did that, just cut in front of the line and stop the person from what they were doing and, and just interjected? You, you wouldn't you wouldn't stand for that. No, know? that happened to me years ago <laughs> in an auto part store, right. standing there waiting for some part and the phone mm -hmm. rings and it's like, what about us? Exactly. Yeah. You wouldn't stand for that if, that, if someone did that in person, but somehow on the phone, no. they get by. <laughs> yeah. So, so technology is, you know, intercepting those type of calls because a yeah. lot of them are not really good calls or just quick throwaway questions that they could easily get online. Right. Right. Without distracting the staff. So yeah, I see more reliance on technology and, and back to that. If you don't have it, you're like an island out there mm -hmm. and everybody's out here and you're still, you know, it's not for everybody, right? Not everybody needs this type of stuff. Yeah. But the, the ones that are, you know, trying to move into different categories, attract new customers. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what it's all about, right? Is And who's your target customer? A mom with kids. And who needs this labor-saving and time-saving option more than somebody like that? Right. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would totally agree. And I, I'd almost push back and say that everyone does need it. It's just a matter of who's ready to adopt it and when. <laughs> well, that's, that's true, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where the education and, you know, we get a lot of calls from referrals. Mm -hmm. Right. They found us at another center or something. So, right. you know, the pandemic was a tragedy and a pain in the neck and destroyed mm -hmm. millions of people's lives, yeah. but it certainly propelled the age of e-commerce forward. Right. And now mm -hmm. everybody can see why can't at my small business offer the same stuff that the big business does. Right. And yeah. with party works and tools like us, you can. Yeah. Yeah. It really lifted up that expectation that it's not just for, you know, the, you know, the Darden chains or, you know, everyone else it's for, you know, your mom and your mom and pop store too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing that excites me most is the ability for them to be so nimble. Mm -hmm. And th this is a different business, but this is a roller skating rink of ours. Mm -hmm. uh, they had an idea to sell tickets and they called us up and said, wow, could, and this was during the pandemic, right? As a way to meter the people arriving and et cetera, et cetera. So they knew who was coming and yeah. for the different slots, but 
within an hour, they were selling tickets online through PartyWorks. And the wow. response from their customers was amazing. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I have mm -hmm. 50 slots at 10 a.m. And he said we were able to raise the prices. Yeah. Um, wow. Also. Right. So, <laughs> but the, just the ability to have such an impact on your business by coming up with a quick promotion, let's get it out there, book it now. You know, that's amazing flexibility that businesses yeah. need today. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, you're, you're behind the eight ball if you can't have some yeah. form of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're, you're at a disadvantage. And yeah. there's no need to be, right? The BPA has put together great pricing, got some great vendors that can help them out, mm -hmm. people like yourself. You know, there's a better day if they haven't taken the step or just look at other centers that are using party works and see what they say. Right. There are, yeah, it's, there it's are right best, there. You know, yeah. Right. It's that's right our word there. of mouth. Hey, did you like this video? Great. We make five of them a week. Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.